Can you crack my back? <laughs> yes, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, my okay. turn. <laughs> You're so cute. My turn. We then? Oh. Wow. Did you hear that on the microphones? Because that was intense. Baby's been very stressed this morning. Yeah, I've been grumpy. Grumpy baby. I, okay, I went to bed feeling kind of hungry. And then I woke up feeling excruciatingly hungry. We decided to get ready and clean the house and get all ready before making food. Still have not had breakfast. And I Here's get like next level hanger. Here's the thing. When Ash doesn't eat, it's the end of the world. You have like massive blood sugar drops. I think so. really affects that actually her. runs in my family as well. Mm. Anyways, we wanted to give you guys a little quick house tour. Here you go. Okay, let's start with the tour. Okay. First and foremost, we must show you our entryway. Here's our boob hanger and our pilot, uh, what are those called, keychains? Yep, sexy pilot is me. And our purses, as you can tell, we like coach. But my favorite part about this feature is this giant blow dry brush. You guys don't understand how amazing this brush is that Lex loves to use. You're supposed to use it when your hair's wet and to like kind of give yourself a blowout. But she loves to use the brush on it oh, I, I all like day. To, I blow it out. Every blow time out. after I shower, I blow it out. But mm -hmm. then throughout the day, my hair gets regular and I like to brush it and it gives it no volume. Regular hair. So she takes this brush, this whole brush with this whole huge cord on it, and she always just sticks it in this purse. Then she comes back and, uses, and then she comes and uses it all throughout the day while she's filming content. And I'm like, should we just buy you a brush? Yeah. But then she's like, oh, I'll look at them later. Well, I showed her stuff on Amazon. You're like, oh, okay, I'll sit down and look at it. I need to do more research, okay, before I just buy any brush. How are you going to be just to buy a blow dry brush? I don't know. I feel like there's things that I don't know. So I'm, I'm like, it's ask. a round brush. If it has the two little sets of bristles that you like, then I feel like it's fine. <laughs> it's not. So instead we have this huge long cord that just hangs onto the ground. It drives me. That's, but it's just my boo doing her All thing. Right, anyways, in fact, so, I should just like stick this in here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's start with the hallway. Okay, here's the bathroom. I just want to show off our cute little. Um, should I turn the light? Cloud. Oh, I want to show off the cute cloud. That's our light. That's a cute cloud light. I also very much love our woman um, <laughs> soap dispenser. We are very, very lesbian. Yeah, so if you like either of those, we actually just put them on our Amazon storefront. Very excited about that. I've been avoiding doing an Amazon storefront, both of us have, for so long, and it actually was so much easier than I thought. Lex looks so good modeling that. So here's, let me take a little step back. Oh yeah, I've got a little, like, I found these vintage Playboys years ago, and I cut some out and put them in different frames. Should that's our JBL me? speaker. Yeah, sure, put it on. Okay, there we go. There's our gal. I don't know if that's safe for YouTube, but there's that. Oh, yeah, this whole thing up here. You know, it's kind of a mod podge of just random stuff that did Okay, <laughs> I have else. a couple words to say. Please say some Here's words. Here's the thing please. with Ash. Ash has or likes to have a bunch of little trinkets. I've learned that word recently. Wow. And part of those trinkets are just random leaves that she puts in random vases. Random leaves? It's not leaves. They're called propagations, baby. Propagations. Let's stay fancy. And, when, and I think they're beautiful. And they're, she just has too many. So this is where we, like the cemetery of propagations that she doesn't want to throw away, but we're just hanging on to them. For I don't know why. And we've got this cute, cute. Th this is like so close up. I wish I could. Can we zoom out? Nope. Oh, there you go. It's a little more zoomed out. Got my little, this kind of stuff that I'm sure Lex also hates. I put my Q-tips in there. Also, this perfume, should I tell him a story about this perfume? Oh yeah, tell him I story. tried dating a man, guys. Oh. Anyways, he was an amazing man. The only problem was that I'm gay, so it didn't mm. work out. But one of the gifts that he gave me was this beautiful perfume. Guys, I don't even like perfume. I barely use perfume. I believe in natural scent. Um. Oh my gosh, baby, how would you describe this perfume? Let's see. I don't, I don't even know how to describe that. It's just so good. It smells really good. It just reminds me of you from when we first yeah. started dating. You'd wear it a lot. Yeah, so. That's funny. I didn't know that story, babe. I didn't know you got that from the guy. Oh yeah, he gave it to me as a gift. Oh, that's funny. He was obsessed and probably is still obsessed with like, this brand. Mm. And he had, he had a lot of perfume. Like, he was a huge perfume guy. Um, and he got me this. And I love it. I just love the bottle and it smells good. And you don't need a lot. That's what I like. So, 
Anyways, there you go. There you have it. Now we're back in the hallway. The bathroom's over there. We're back in the hallway. The hallway. So, Ash had a lot of artwork <laughs> or frames. What do you call this though? I don't know. Pictures? Whatever. We hung it all in this long walkway. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the record, I have two, two out of the five are yours. So. Yeah. And then the other giant one is yours. So three of these, three of the six in this whole line are yours. Yes, yeah, I know. Ma'am. She looks exactly like I'm the only one that has anything. You have 90% of the stuff in this house. You have big stuff. The things that you have are big I'm items. I'm a big stuff person. Yeah, I'm becoming more of a big stuff person, to be honest. But yeah. for now, this is what we got. <laughs> we have Elvis. Yep. He's... Looks like a lesbian. Speaking of lesbians, are you lost and confused? Or do you need more lesbian games? We can help you. <laughs> Our Patreon has over 1,700 members. And we are teaching you what to do with your ladies in the bedroom. All of our spicier versions of our YouTube videos, you can find on Patreon. We got the dirtier versions of our challenge videos, the games, kissing videos, all that is gonna be on there along with a lesbian sex ed tier. And we have three different tiers. The top tier is $11.11 and the bottom tier is $6.66. Yep, that lesbian sex ed is the 666 tier. We want that to be available to all of you. This is something that Ash and I really wish we had growing up to avoid embarrassment. And just go over a lot of things that you just aren't clear on. Skip the embarrassment and join our Patreon. Now back to the YouTube video. Love that about him. You can't even yes. see this one. It's, oh, you can kind of. This is a white cat. A white cat. Reminds us of this little girl. Yes, my baby. This is our baby. You love her. Love her so much. It's crazy. I mean, she loves Very cute little nail caps. I love them. Yeah, we got her nails done. <laughs> Except for they're coming undone. She only has like one left on this side. I'm surprised they even lasted that I long. I know. They got, they're supposed to oh. shed when her nails shed or something like that. Anyway, so there's that. And then the fun, the best and funniest part about this hallway to me is Lex's giant hand of David um, Which painting. Which I did not know She did was... not know it was religious at all. I, okay, I guess I didn't, but yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, you did I don't it. know what I thought. I didn't think anything besides like, wow, that's cool, and I want it in my room. Yep, I had to tell you. And I knew it was history. It's Adam and God. Beauty queen check, check the hair. Looking good? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, you look really good. Beautiful baby. All right. We really want to tell you guys about our Amazon storefront. So a lot of people want to know where we get our stuff, like our jewelry, our cool little lights. So we made an Amazon storefront finally. It took mm -hmm. us so long to figure that out. You know, I can't even tell you how much we built this up into a task in our heads. And we're like, that's going to be so hard. That's going to well, be so I, hard. I think I tried once and you I, I made couldn't it. do it. I know. We've both tried once. Yeah. But then all I had to do was go on YouTube and find somebody who was telling how to do it. And it's like... I feel like I did that though. So easy. I know. It's just... Okay. If you need help with Amazon Storefront, you ask us because I now know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Long story short, you now have access to our Amazon Storefront where you can find most of the things that we use, like the camera, the stand, the lights. Mm -hmm. the, is the cloud on there? Yeah, the clouds on clouds there. Clouds on there, all, all this cool stuff the that you're seeing. Naked Lady Soap. Yeah. If YouTube has it as a tag, then we will tag mm -hmm. it on the YouTube video. But if it's not on YouTube, then know that you can go to the Amazon Storefront. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's share about our room. Yeah. Okay, so we made the controversial decision to put our bed out in the living room. Oh yeah, we should talk about that. <laughs> and our couch in the room. <laughs> yeah, it was my idea. What was your idea? I like living in glass houses. Um, so I just Trimming. insisted that the bed was near the glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and honestly, I think we were inspired by a friend who had a studio apartment. This is technically a studio yeah. apartment because the bedroom is like a den. It doesn't have any windows, so they classify it as a studio. So, oh, it's just like not a huge room. I feel like this bed would have taken up the whole space and it would have felt very cramped in there. Mm -hmm. And just dark. Dark. And it's, there's something about being able to wake up with the light next to you that like helps you wake up. So we're like, you know, let's put this out here. And all of our filming stuff and our um, like office stuff fits so well in there, which we'll show you. All of our YouTube videos, except our blogs now, are filmed there. Mm -hmm. So you'll, we'll show you the couch. You will recognize it, but let's get going with the tour. Yes, let's. Okay, so should we start with the corner? <sighs> sure. Okay, so first and foremost, 
This is our new favorite thing that we just bought, which is our um, wavy bookshelf. And I'm so glad we bought it when we did because literally it does not, it's not on sale anymore. Like it just disappeared. Gone. Unavailable on Amazon, which is really annoying because I've had so many people ask me for the link. Um, I'm sure it'll come back. Then I'll put it on my Amazon storefront. But it was actually pretty easy to put together. It took us a little bit of time, but we got it. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it was pretty easy. Yeah. Ash is the handy dandy person when it comes to building stuff. Mm -hmm. You might be surprised. I know. She's daddy in other ways. I'm daddy. I'm daddy when it comes to building stuff. Yeah. I it's got the tools. So surprising. <laughs> is it? And I love that. I love that because I do not know how to use a drill. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is the ziggy zag bug stand. Yep. Some nice features. This is um, Sappho, a famous Greek lesbian poet. She's where the title um, Sapphic and Lesbian come from. Love her. I got that on Etsy, I think. Yeah. I've got her poems next to it. Um, I have all my books on here. We've got poetry. We've got witchcraft. <laughs> we've got uh, lesbian history. And we've got a little bit of self-development. Oh, and some aviation stuff on the bottom. This right here is I'm not religious never have been I grew up Catholic but this is what I call my Bible mm. it's called the master key system yep. it is very transformative and the cool thing about this book I think I told you to read it. I don't know if did you read it we were reading it together and then we stopped well they have like little homework assignments after every chapter which I think is great and helps you not just read it and then move on with your life but actually proactively use it and implement mm. it in your life um but yeah I yeah, look at all her little tabs. That's how you know the book was good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, baby. I know. We yep. need to finish it together because... No, we need to start reading before bed again. What is this? I guess I was planning a domination tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, because that's all cities that I would go to. Um, yeah. What is this? Oh, my gratitude. I am thankful. I am thankful for my wise father because he helps me in financial investments. Oh, that's cute. That's true. I, mean, I love my dad. Also, this is Lex's, um, I, I literally, sorry, I have not eaten, cannot remember words for the life of me. Lamp. This is Lex's lamp. It's a little cleaning, damn. Yeah, and the thing is, it's really cute, but it has these long ass legs that go, it's like a tripod. And it's just so inconvenient to put anywhere. And so we've just been sticking it right here, but then it just, gets in the way of our bookshelf, bookshelf, so I don't know what to do about it. She wants to keep it, so I guess it's just here. Yep. We're not getting rid of it. It'll look good in our next house. You know okay. it, you know it. Yeah, it's I know. It's not worth getting rid of. Okay. All, All right. right, so I'm gonna get a soda water. Okay. Water. Oh, I wish. Mm, baby can't drink these anymore. Ah, baby, help. No, it. Just like gonna spill. Guys, I don't know what it is. I have been drinking soda water lately, or at least these um, Kirkland sparkling water, and my stomach has been not well. And then I thought maybe I just have a virus. But then I had one again last night, and what do you think happened? My stomach started hurting again. So, just for me. This whole fridge is for me. Have you ever heard of that? That's so weird. Where'd you get this? Frigidaire. Oh, uh, I think Amazon. I have it on my Amazon. Isn't it cute though? This is light pink. It's so adorable. It's annoying because I feel like you can't even tell how cute this whole scene looks. This is one of my favorite parts of our house in the video, but it looks so cute and it's so planty and cute and retro. Yep. And we have some decanters over here and a little propagation that Lex hates so much right here. Like I said, I'm such a minimalist. I do enjoy this fridge though. That's I think it's very cute, cute and it helps separate like fun drinks like yeah, this. Yeah, we always put our drinks in here so they liquor. don't take up space in the fridge. Yep. Well, Ash cleans the three glasses that were on the table. Baby. She's like, this is reality. <laughs> this is reality. This is our life. Things aren't always perfect. We're not always perfect. I know, but I still like them to look nice. Even when we're existing in this house, I still want it to look nice. Oh yeah, we clean up. We're not messy, but there's moments where there will be a glass out on the table. God forbid, oh. baby, God forbid. It just drives me nuts. I just like everything to be perfectly mm -hmm. aesthetic all the time. All right, do you want to start? Yes, I will. Let me move this so you can see my cute chairs. I don't want to wear this right now. I'm not cold yet. All right, baby, show us around. This is our kitchen. 
This is our rug. <laughs> this is our um, broom that has nowhere else to go. Except for right here. I can't wait to have like an actual closet for that kind of thing. We don't even have anywhere to put our vacuum. We just put it in our clothes closet, which is really annoying. But that's fine. Look at our cute bamboo dishes thing. I also want to turn on this because it's so cute. We always have this on at night and I just also love it. Um, as you know, I like little trinkets. So I have my little, I have my little propagations here that I thrifted. And then we put our dish soap in here because the dish soap bottle is so ugly. It, it is. is. I agree with that Stick one. Stick it in there. Yep. Ta-da! And that's pretty much it. That's the kitchen. Welcome. Let's go to the office now. Let's show them where we... You don't want to show them our cute table? Oh, one? yeah. We have the table. I really like our table area. But it's hard to see because there's a window behind it. But maybe we can come from behind it, kind of? All right. Here's me trying to show you my cute um, cat paper towel holder. You also could put a bunch of um, toilet paper on him too and put him on the ground in the bathroom. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I saw people doing that on Amazon reviews. Anyway, so that's kind of fun. I left him a lot. Here's a little salt and pepper shakers. These are like very unique, I feel like, but they're probably not because they're from Ikea, so I'm sure a lot of people actually have them, but. <laughs> well, they're expensive in Ikea, Ooh, so really? not a lot of people have them. Yeah, I've never seen them like that, but I think they're adorable. And my cute little plant. And these chairs, I really love these chairs. They have like the like wicker rattan or whatever, and then they're um, leather looking down there. Cats yeah. love to sharpen their nails on the back side. They sure do, but actually it's pretty durable because you can't even tell. A lot of the stuff you own, I'm always so surprised, babe, that it's so durable because the cats love to scratch on it mm -hmm. and you would never know, so yep. I don't know. Yeah, they got quality stuff. You do, baby, you do. Yeah, oh, you look so pretty, wow. Wow! I love you. No. <laughs> I, love you know. I don't think I was even pointing at it. <laughs> Everybody loves Buddha. I know, I do. I know. So, uh, welcome to our yellow couch. This is the office. This is, yes. And you know what's funny about the couch is that we have like so many games underneath because we have nowhere to put it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Under the couch became our game trove. And we are game addicts. That's right. Board games, card games. Actually, games. I remember our first date, or first date that you took me on. Huh. What did we do? You took me to a kava bar? Yeah, a kava like bar. You guys went to kava? And, um, I already it's know these what you're gonna drinks. Say. I don't even know. I didn't like it. I got really sick, but I didn't want to tell you. I got super nauseous. Really? I told you. Oh. Yeah. And then we went to a drive in movie theater. Or was it a drive in movie theater? Yeah, we did. We but went got Wings. Wings? Did we drive in later? No, we went to the drive in movie theater. I think we went Wings first. Maybe. I don't know. <coughs> Debatable. <coughs> okay. But, anyways, at the Kava Bar, you went to your car, to your trunk, and you grabbed Rumi Cube. You gotta show them Rumi Cube. <laughs> and then okay. you wanted to play Rumi Cube at the Kava Bar. <coughs> <coughs> My throat just got like messed up. <sighs> yep, okay. that's the game. This is it. Rumi Cube. This looks so ghetto. <laughs> yep, especially in this plastic bag. I don't think you can even see it right now. Anyways, you um, took, that, took me to that bar at Kava and then we played Rumi Cube. Yep. And I thought that was so cute and not normal. <laughs> Who does that, baby? It's fun. You do. You need to learn to like games if you're going to date me. I know, it's really true. I actually love games and yeah. we're very competitive. So it's Yeah, and this game doesn't seem that fun, but it is so fun. And I even got you on it. We both are obsessed with it. It's these number tiles and you lay all the tiles down. They have to pick up 14. You put them on your little, this thing. And then you have to like... It's a long story, yeah. but you figure it out. <laughs> you can YouTube it. It's, it's fun so and fun. we love it. Anyways, we have a lot of games underneath the couch, and okay. I honestly, obviously, love this couch. This is a beautiful couch. I love it, too. Um, and it folds down into a bed for guests. That's true. This is also our guest room, so mm -hmm. when our friends come over, my mom comes over, your mom comes over, mm -hmm. they can stay here. It's extremely uncomfortable. So, we have a giant, like, pad. I love it. I like hard surfaces. Remember, baby? You've laid on this? You like I it? I love sleeping on this. What? Yeah. It's not even just that it's, like, uncomfortable. It's that... There's like four, there's like a big line in the middle and then like two big lines right here where these are. She's crazy. Anyway, right behind this is our giant fluffy thing. What is it called? I always forget what they're called. A mattress thing. Foamy mattress. Foam, foam thing. mattress. <laughs> I never know what that's called, foam yeah. thing. So yeah. then we have lesbian art that obviously yeah. Ash hung. Of course, yes. And I hung one. and supplied. We won't show you too much because it's explicit. 
Um, yes, again, more of my vintage 70s Playboys that yeah. I went and chopped up like a little pervert. And then um, <laughs> I have, I also love queer history. Um, if you guys are really, really OGs you would, of me, you would know that I actually have a YouTube channel that I used to make queer history videos on. It's still up there. You could still technically go watch all of them. But um, I have all these lesbian pulp fiction um, like novel covers up, up here. We've got Lesbian Queen, Killer Dyke, I Prefer Girls, classics. <laughs> Yep. All right, so that's the couch. Oh, and I can't forget Jiggy. We call him Jiggy from yep. Jigsaw. I never thought I liked scary movies, and I had always seen the Saw movies, and I was like, absolutely not. I will never watch those. Those look terrifying. But she loves Saw. Loves Saw. Mm -hmm, I do. And she got me on it, and they're actually so much better than I expected. They're, yeah, you got hooked, actually. They're what? very, like, clever and interesting. What um, did we watch? We watched Jigsaw 1, Jigsaw 2. Jigsaw 1 was still the best one to me, I feel like. I think but it got to a point where you were like, this is too... Gory? Gory. It, there's... For, with no plot. They, like, just hit a point where they're like, let's just put cheap gore in here and stop being as clever. But it got cleverer. I did know it? it was, like, a bad one. Yeah, I just watched the new one that just came out. It was so good. Oh, yeah. I didn't see it. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, she went and saw that movie, and then she bought this little guy at the movie theater and brought him home for me. And yep. we call him in Dallas. Yep. We got it in Dallas. He's little Kita's friend, and he's yeah, covered in... Can. Actually, he's more Buddha's friend, because he's covering <laughs> Buddha's hair. <laughs> Buddha comes and cuddles him all the time. All right. Let's, um... What do, you do you want to show him the office where you do all your Pluto research and aviation? Oh, Pluto. Don't get me started on Pluto. <laughs> all right, let's go. I'm going to show you where I get smart. This is, um... Lex's uh, desk that she supplied, a very fancy nice desk, my thrifted pillow and um, <laughs> chair as you can probably imagine. This is our vision board, that's all my jewelry and sometimes when I'm doing my homework I just look up and there's a mirror and it makes the space look a lot bigger actually. I wish I could, oh here we go. Here's the space where I am always studying. It's very fun. I learned a lot about Pluto the other day because I had a discussion post for one of my classes about Pluto. We've been getting into space. Very interesting. I have a lot of thoughts on Pluto. Maybe I'll tell you sometime. But this is it. This is the spot. It's pretty cool. All right, baby, I am starving. You're starving. You're starving. I'm starving. Are you starving? I'm very starving. Okay. As you know. <laughs> And hope, we're gonna go eat. Yeah, we hope that you enjoyed this house tour mm -hmm. um, because we did. And don't forget, we love you. We love you. Ciao. Ciao. Let us know what else you wanna see.